What's going on Fit Fam? We got another Therapy Thursday with your friendly neighborhood athletic therapist Andrew Clark here at Fit Body Boot Camp. Whip her! So, I'm gonna show you four stretches to reduce the likelihood of shoulder impingement and also we're gonna help fix those rounded shoulders. Maybe a lot of you got that, uh, that desk job and over time we've kind of done this and you're leading to uh, neck issues, shoulder issues, uh, just some pain that kind of comes up here and there. So what we're gonna do, you can get impingement a couple ways. There's the primary factor, let's say you have some kind of acute trauma, you're either getting compressed up or uh, you get pinched up, uh, falling on an outstretched hand, or there's a secondary cause, which is these um, kind of biomechanical forces over time, certain things like posture, uh, that just lead to uh, narrowing the canal into that shoulder girdle, and then you know these structures, the tendons and ligaments don't have as much room to move within that window. So we're gonna make sure that doesn't happen for you, okay? We're gonna treat that secondary cause. So, stretch number one, pec major, pec minor. Okay. You can use a door handle or a door frame. Uh, you can use a machine like something, just something that you can line up that elbow uh, at 90-90, get that hand. I like to kind of lunge through, so if I'm stretching my right side, lunge through with the right leg and then actually rotate away from that. Okay, And now for all stretches, you kind of want to hold that for about 30 seconds. So from here, this is that getting that large muscle group, that pec major. You want to get that shorter one, that pec minor, that kind of runs off that scapula onto the first three ribs. You're gonna straighten out that arm. Same thing, lunging through, and then I like to rotate away and just get a little bit of traction. So right now I'm actually kind of bracing it with my hand and just letting my body weight sink into that stretch and you can just kind of feel that sucker go. So again, I'd hold that for about 30 seconds. So we're here at stretch number two. We're gonna try and stretch that upper trap, but we're also gonna get that uh, anterior scaling in, in the front portion of your neck, okay? So a couple ways you can do this. If you're sitting uh, on a chair at home, make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. Uh, I like to depress the shoulder blade by sitting on the hand, or if you're using a chair, you can actually grip the bottom of the chair. That also works. Today, we're just gonna sit on that hand. We were stretching my right side earlier. That's my side that's usually in pain. Um, sitting up tall, sitting on the right hand, and then you're gonna bring your left ear to the left shoulder, and then using this hand, you're gonna just apply a little bit of overpressure, okay? Just sink into that for about 30 seconds. Now, to get the front part, those scalings that actually pull up on the clavicle in those upper uh, two ribs, you're gonna keep that left ear tilted to the, the left shoulder, and then you actually wanna rotate your chin, and even with your right eyeball, you're gonna straight it up to that right corner over there, and then with two fingers, you're gonna push your forehead back and you're gonna feel that just nice muscle melt right through there, okay? And then again, hold that for about 30 seconds. Last muscle group we're gonna stretch is the latissimus dorsi or the lats. They're big, strong medial rotator, so to open up the shoulder, we actually wanna make sure that we're not caught in that medial rotation. So we're gonna stretch out uh, our wings so if you've got a chair at home, I find that works really well. Um, I'm using the, the step up benches here because that's what we got. Um, you're gonna place your elbows down on here, okay? And then what you wanna do is you're actually just gonna sit that butt back, okay? Until you feel that stretch, you're gonna kind of feel it go right up from the tricep all the way down. And then what you'd do is you'd hang out there for about 30 seconds. Now to buff up this stretch a bit, I would hang out, say, you know, 30 seconds. And then what I'm actually going to do is I'm gonna do a PNF tactic here. So I'm actually gonna push into the table. So I'm doing this motion into the chair for about eight seconds. And then I'm gonna relax. And it's just gonna trick the muscle and allow you to get into deeper stretch. Like that just feels amazing right now, okay? And then what you could do is you could repeat repeat that three or four times, however much you, uh, you find that you need based on uh, how tight the tissue is, okay? But just a quick recap, um, we've got the pec and pec minor stretch, we've got the upper trap and that anterior scalene stretch, and then we got this nice lat stretch. Again, we're trying to reduce the likelihood of that shoulder impingement occurring, and we're trying to correct that secondary cause of the forward rounded posture. Okay, so that's four stretches to help you out. Fit fam, we'll check you out later. Have a good day.